Good morning and welcome back to the Zombie Apocalypse to Cedar Hill to Randy's little road trip adventure. Um, as you might notice, I've, I've spent a day unrecorded where I basically went around and um, ripped up a lot of clothing on zombies and finished a tailoring book and then went ahead and upgraded the backpacks um, simply because I really, you know, it gives you more capacity, it gives you more reduction, and most importantly, it gives you the equipment slots, so I can also have my, my hand torch now there. The downside was, of course, uh, we are now out of out of energy drink cans. Now, we still have the, the tub with the powder where we can mix some energy drinks. I'm also very tired, so I probably have to drink, I want to say, at least two. Now that, that tub with the powder, it's, I want to say, about as strong as the packs that are removed, but you still have the downside of having to mix it, having to provide um, water for the for the bottles, so you can actually mix it at all. And yeah, you're just going to have less of it that you're carrying around with you. Anyways, yeah, so I was thinking... Um, then we're gonna stay probably another day or so here in in the town for for two reasons mainly. First of all, um, our little little looting trip um, brought us here what thirty four boxes of shotgun shells. So I probably wanna wanna get a little bit of shotgun training in here. Like we can't take all of that with us on on any further road trip. That's that's gotta be clear. Uh, the bike has limited storage capacity. So, yeah. Um, the other thing is... Yeah, no, I just really want to... No, no, I'm not sure if there's another thing. I um, want to hone some more skills. We do have a self and boost time limit, as in, yeah, we want to have all things set up by the end of the year. Which I, I don't know how long or how short that actually is. I haven't counted. Again, there's a bunch of modded maps that I've never seen, never played. I don't know how many or if any mechanic shops there will be. So yeah, um, you know that's that's the general idea. So since we're staying here and we have a wonderful thick foggy day. I think today we're just gonna um, go around the corner, check out those six houses here on the on the other road, and then probably um, like if we're gonna do a little bit shotgun shooting, it's gonna be on the main road at the gas station, or then f further south from there. But for now, I just wanna wanna check out this area. Second, I thought there was like a back gate that was added to this wall. Like there was an opening, but uh, it's not. Now, um, doing a little bit of shotgun rampage, always a little bit questionable when we have faster zombies involved. It's gotta be sound coming from across the fence. Right. I was wondering why, why Randy is getting panicked here. Uh, looks like a few more guys. Are we still looking for electrical XP? Probably a little bit. I mean, hot wiring has much less of a priority, but I still think having some cars to drive around with in the towns would be nice. It's so hard to see these guys. There's a huge group sitting there in the, in the entrance, and I barely saw them. I 
think I mentioned it in a previous episode, so I'm, I've been um, playing on stream with a different character that is also using short blunt weapons and who's sitting comfortably at level 10. And that feels very much different combat-wise. So I just have to um, reset my expectations on what Randy here can do. I guess what, what he lacks in combat skill, he makes up with having a brick hammer. Running, nobody running, okay. So far so good. Probably part of these big groups that we're finding here is um, the uh, still the, the fallout from the helicopter. Probably put a couple, two or three zombies into the area. So the bad news is none of the houses here are survivor houses. So uh, you know, you got one survivor house in the whole neighborhood. It's gotta be good enough. Any chance we have an have an open car here? With a key and gas. Okay. Not a lot of gas. Well, that's gonna be good enough for a little little tour around the neighborhood. Right, so this is kinda all new now. From the, from the last time we played on this specific map. Like this wasn't here, this wasn't here. The street was there, and then the, that's the school, and then further on the church, I think. group in the park there. So I'm still, still kind of hoping that Gas station might get us some fresh cans, or also might get us 50 new zombies. Okay, unless we're not getting tired here at any point. I, I didn't rest at all, but we've been kind of going slow. And I hope there's not any zombies behind me breaking out of a building.
with beta blockers. I really should take beta blockers in these situations because, um, yeah, with a extreme panic, that is a not insignificant damage reduction. Uh, what's this, anyway? Remington? You know, maybe while the weather is still so bad, I'm just gonna take a look at a house or two here. Let's start in the corner. Do my due diligence, check around the backside. Man, there's not much room for. for a garden here. Yeah? Sounds like there's one zombie inside and a couple behind the fence. I don't care about those behind the fence, really. What's this guy doing for accessibility? Okay, also key, but no gas. Sounds like someone is upstairs. Right, easy enough. Yeah, I think I'll limit my looting to. Utility closets. The kitchen. Maybe just the kitchen, really. I also uh, kind of think that I should be picking up more food in general, since we are not just for myself, right? If the plan is to leave a good supply of food on any um, base that we create, I need to pack way more than uh, just what I need for myself. Oh yeah, there's uh, not a lot here. I'll take the juice box. Oh, and when I say I just loot the kitchen, I of course also loot the garage, because that's where the good stuff is. Or no stuff. Uh, do I want a spare metal pipe? Maybe. On this side, okay. Who went the fox over? Well, in that case... I feel like they got a, they got a good deal here on, on that car model here. Maybe the, the local car dealership in this town only got that one type of car in, in three different colors, and everybody's like, yeah, I want one. I'll take one. All got the same car. It's been awkward the day after they bought it. And everybody's like, oh, look at my new car. Oh, I have the same. Oh, hmm. Ah, let's check the gas station again. Eesh. Okay, you know what? I wanted to train shotgun. We're gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna spend the rest of today. We're just gonna carefully look through some of these houses here. The 
regret that we're not building our own base and could like, uh, get all the fancy stuff here. Big old piano. I should also um, check this stuff for any books or magazines rather that I still that I don't have yet. And if we find uh, more generator magazines, because one of the changes we're going to do from the next space on is, um, you know, leaving generator magazines behind in case the other survivors that find our base don't have that knowledge. don't see the door moving, but oh, is there like a little closet here? Yeah, okay. I knew it's coming from this direction, but I didn't see the door moving. It's very weird. Ah. That, read that, take that. Get some cigarettes. just also wants to um, go through the rooms just to see what's happening in here. Okay, 15. We got some, we got some storage room here. Even more ammo, because we definitely need even more. Uh, that seems kind of inconvenient here. I hope you never need to get go to the bathroom here because um, it's gonna take a while. But it's the perfect position for the TV. I mean, I get it. You know, if you want to watch from from the bed, need to put the TV to the side every time. It's gonna get old fast. Okay. Remember when I said I'm just gonna check the uh, the kitchen? Yeah. What about it? Try to stop me. Yeah. Let's grab some cans also while we while we can. Um, I don't have plushie yet, right? On my backpack. Stitch? There we go. It's like one zombie in there. It's like more than one zombie.
I think that's upstairs again. I mean, in my defense, I did say I wanted to loot uh, utility closets, and it looks like every buff, every uh, bedroom seems to have one, so yeah, I have a good reason to spend more time in these houses. Also, I think it's a really good um, skill to train, safely clearing um, buildings. So yeah, just doing a training exercise here. in the kitchen. But so far we found two cans of food and two cans of energy drinks. People in this town certainly have their priorities straight. Check the bookshelves, so let's check the garage and then put a pin in it. God, there's so much. <laughs> if I was building a base, there's so much nice stuff to pick up here. Ah, well. Also, it's kind of kind of crazy how, like, on the one hand, I'm thinking, oh, this is kind of not respecting the loot settings, right, with extremely rare loot, because there's a lot of stuff here, but then you know, just look around the corner in the kitchen. That that looks like extremely rare to me. So I don't know. Something something about these garages feels off. All right, uh, let's have a smoke and eat one or two of the cabbages that we brought with us. Maybe just one. Ah. Didn't see that second guy. Check the street here. There's another guy come in. Did he just... I swear he just changed outfit like two meters before he reached us. Changeling zombies, the new threat. A couple, a couple garden sitters over there. this out before we start looting anything. He destroyed the window. He was already full. It's like, I, I don't like it, but I also like the, the spice that it adds. Okay. 
That's, I might as well check here quickly. Doors open. Well, you know, be coming in. Don't hear anybody inside. Yeah, if we could find a, um, yeah, we need more shotgun, I only have 34 boxes, need more shotgun shell ammo. Um, if we can find a proper flashlight, like one of the, the yellow ones. So, <laughs> this is gonna have a bigger um, light radius, but unfortunately it doesn't really work with the mod that I'm using that gives flashlights a more realistic battery duration and not like oh you had it on for two hours yeah it's, it's empty now like vanilla battery life is kind of kind of crazy it's like the only thing even that makes less sense is um vanilla um light bulb life like if you if you build your own custom base and install light bulbs, and they're gonna be gone very quickly. Every three days, you have to then change your light bulbs. Uh, I guess the other advantage of doing this little looting run here today is that also all these houses are going to be empty and we don't have to be scared of suddenly zombies coming up of the houses. We go out for some other action. All right. So much more empty houses, eh? It's out here on the road. One guy over there. Should have enough time to check this one here. And yeah, with uh, the windows all broken and the door smashed in, there's a very low chance that there's anything left in here. No, actually, there is still somebody in here. Well, outside? I don't know. I just heard a zombie. Zombie sound. Uh, I'll pick that up when we leave in, because I'm kinda already overweight. It's not all gonna fit into my backpack. Yeah. That is the gun, right? Yeah, so now that that's the thing. I, I normally I would just open the window, let him in, and then smash him. It's not quite that simple. Oh, 
Oh, this one gives 60 fatigue. Oh, baby. Get him, belly. Should basically reset us to zero fatigue. I don't think we're gonna find a yellow flashlight here anyway. It's, it's the door. Didn't see the door. I'm like, ah, sir, that is not the whole building. Where's the rest of the upper floor? Right, so uh, let's grab these cans that are left here. I think that I'm gonna head over. That, that is not the way. I'm gonna take the take the shortcut across the wall. these last two guys and then I'm gonna head over back to the house it is so convenient I, I don't think that was possible in the old layout or maybe it was and I just never did it so yeah I'm gonna um, unpack most of the stuff we looted today and then I'm gonna get ready to put at least 200 shells of shotgun ammo in the backpack and get room for the shotgun. And on the following day, as soon as we get some daylight back, we're gonna go a little bit on a shotgun. So the idea was, this is our forest here, to kinda use the gas station in this area, these streets, the park. And if we have to run we can either run into the neighborhood and take them around the around the block or run out of town but we'll do that in the next episode thanks for watching i'll see you next time